disgusting and just like rude. Do, 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 Cassidy Quinn. Hey guys, it's me, Cassidy Quinn. Is my shirt too wrinkly? I know I should have dealt with this before starting this video. It is back to school time for people that are going back to school. I am not one of them. If you haven't figured that out already. Sometimes when back to school time rolls around each year, I wish I was going back to school. Mainly for the school supply shopping because I would love to keep buying pens and pencils and binders, but I have no reason. Like, I type everything, so I really have no reason for an entire rainbow's worth of colors of pens. I want them all. But then the other half of me is very excited I never have to go back to school again. Because school was often embarrassing. So I thought this back to school season, I would tell you a few of the most embarrassing stories. Keep in mind that there's a very strong possibility that I blacked out the worst, but here are the five most embarrassing things from school that I still remember. We're gonna go in chronological order, starting with the one that happened in kindergarten. When I was little, I had Actually, I think that my parents still have them at their house because I won't let them get rid of them. These adorable little Barney gloves. <laughs> they were purple and then they had green spots on them. Now to you, these might not sound very exciting, but to me, they were my favorite thing. I love these things so much and waited every year for it to get cold enough outside that I could wear them to school without looking like a total weirdo. And Barney was like super cool back then, so don't even think that I was a nerd. I mean, I might have been but I don't think so. But there was this girl in my kindergarten class, I won't say her name here in the off chance that she's watching this. I think we might be Facebook friends. Are we Facebook friends? So one day, she decided she had it out for my Barney gloves. And she took them and threw them in the garbage can. I was so horrified. Put them in the garbage. <laughs> but I went to the garbage can and I picked them right back out. They were my Barney gloves. If I had them on right now, I would feel a lot tougher. That was mean, girl. Like, I hope that further in life, you've stopped being mean and making fun of people for things that are unique and cool. Like these dance moves. This next one happened in fourth and fifth grade. These are the years that I hated most out of all of my school years and the ones that still stick out in my mind as just like, Ugh! There was like a group of girls that started being really mean to other groups of girls and they were just like, we're the popular ones and if you're not with us, then you're not cool. But you know what? That's not how you turn out later in life, okay? But I had my group of friends, which were like most of the time my friends, sometimes they were just mean to me, including at lunchtime. My mom was wonderful and she always made me a lunch. Also, I should note that I went to a very small Montessori school from kindergarten all the way through eighth grade and there was no cafeteria or anything. So like if your mom or dad didn't pack you a lunch, you didn't eat. So thanks mom. And my mom would always put in a satsuma. You know, those like tiny little oranges that are just, mm, they're so delicious. Why don't I have those in my apartment right now? Mom, pack me a lunch or at least just a snack. And for some reason, these people that were my friends, like we always sat in a table, in a table, we always sat around the same table at lunchtime, they decided they should steal my satsumas. So every day at lunch, someone would steal it out of my lunchbox, my satsuma would just disappear, and I didn't know where it went. They're just like passing it underneath, throwing it, of course it's getting bruised in the process. Eventually I would figure it out, and then I would be running around the table trying to get someone of my friends to give me my satsuma back. And it was just so embarrassing, because what can you do in that situation besides run around and try to get your orange back? But of course, the fact that it's bothering you makes everyone think Think it's even funnier so then they don't stop Ugh, it was so annoying I hate thinking about it even to this day like how many years later like 15 years later oh man kids suck this next embarrassing moment happened in middle school so like sixth or seventh grade I was a pretty late bloomer as far as like you know getting female body parts goes and middle school was around that time where people started going through puberty getting new things all over their bodies and you know that's what boys liked. And it's also that time in kids' lives where they are so insecure about what is happening in their own bodies that they feel the need to make fun of everyone else. Don't do that to people. You're just mean. So this one boy in my class came up to me one day and said, hey, Johnny has bigger boobs than you. I changed Johnny's name because I am friends with Johnny on Facebook. Basically, there was another guy in our class who was a little heavier set and they were saying that he had bigger boobs than I did. It was so embarrassing and just like 
rude. Ugh, and it just played off of every insecurity that I already had. I cannot say this enough, kids. You do not need to pick on anybody. Not only will it not make yourself actually feel any better, but also, whatever you're telling them, this mean thing that you feel like you need to get off your chest, they're probably already feeling horrible about it, so... You're not doing anybody any favors. Now we skip ahead to high school when nobody was insecure anymore at all. Ha! <laughs> it only gets worse. I don't know if this is still the case anymore, but when I was in high school, for some reason it was like really cool to wear baggy sweatpants as a girl. But of course, somewhat baggy, loose-fitting sweatpants mean that the waistband is not very stable. So one day I was in the cafeteria, or what do we call it? The refectory. I don't know what that even means to this day, but that's what we called it because like, we had to be different. <laughs> and I'm just walking through the refectory with my baggy dark gray sweatpants on, and one of my male classmates, of course it was a guy, pants me! Uh -huh! Yep, he pulled down my pants. Luckily the underwear did not come with it. That, oh man, I don't even want to think about that. But, but. <laughs> Get it? My butt was out. But the sweatpants did come all the way down, like probably past my knees. And I think I was like holding my lunch tray, so it was kind of a few second time period to put down my lunch and then actually lift up my pants. Oh man, it was embarrassing. Why was this whole baggy sweatpants thing a trend? This needs to stop. Wear normal pants that have a zipper and a button so they stay on your butt in. And last but not least, this is another one from high school because high school was just a great time. When I was in middle school, I loved my group of friends so much, but I was not necessarily ever one of the cool girls. So I get to high school, and for some reason, the cool girls wanted to be friends with me! It's really stupid how excited you are when you're a freshman in high school and the cool, pretty girls want to be friends with you, and it's, uh, it's so stupid. So one of the like leaders of the cool girl group, her birthday was towards the very beginning of the school year. And I had just met her, but I wanted to impress her, so I decided to bring her a birthday present to the back to school dance. So I was like, mom, I need a present for Larry. Larry, that was a horrible girl's cover up name. So I was like, mom, I need a present to bring Macy. So I got her this little kind of miniature purse thing that was see-through and inside it you could see all these little like lip glosses, I think. And I brought it to, what was her name again? Macy. I brought it to Macy at the back to school dance. Now at all the school dances, if you had extra stuff like purses or whatever that you didn't want to be carrying around while you were dancing, you could leave it on this counter in the bathroom. But of course, before you left to go home, you would pick up your stuff from the bathroom and take it home. But Macy left my present in the bathroom. And I noticed that at the end of the dance, so I picked it up because I was like, oh my gosh, Macy forgot my present. She obviously wants it. I'll have to bring it to her at school. I thought I was being so nice. The dance was on Friday. I kept it at home all the way over the weekend, and then I brought it to her on Monday. And I was like, hey Macy, you forgot your present that I got you in the bathroom at the dance. And I don't remember exactly what she said, but it was something like, and this is her holding it like she's disgusted. Oh, thank you. Like, very clearly, you could see on her face that she wanted nothing to do with this little present. And of course, I was giving this back to her in the refectory, in front of all kinds of people. Very sufficiently embarrassing. So there you go, there are five of the most embarrassing moments that I haven't blocked out from my memory. That happened to me in school. I hadn't thought about most of these things in so many years and it's kind of painful to revisit all of these memories. So although I would love to buy a bunch of rainbow colored pens right now, I am glad that I am in the real world where people, at least if they think horrible things about you or they want to do mean things to you, for the most part, they don't actually do them because they process them as a human adult, except on social media. Actually, I should take that back. Sometimes people comment very mean and embarrassing things, as you've probably figured out if you've made it to YouTube. Be nice, be a nice person, whether you're in school or out of school. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. That is such an easy concept, just do it! And if you're in school right now and embarrassing things are happening to you, I am so sorry, I feel ya, I am with ya. Comment down below and I will say something something nice back to you, I promise. But just know that you can stick with it, you can get through this, and once you get out of school, you don't have to see any of those people ever again. Until they awkwardly friend you on Facebook years later, and you're like, ha, 
There's a reason I hadn't friended you yet. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with the school year. And I will see you next week. Hopefully I won't have any new embarrassing stories to share by then. Bye! Had to check that the microphone's on, because otherwise that would be embarrassing. I'm gonna close my closet doors so you think I'm a clean person. You know what isn't embarrassing? Subscribing to this channel. I put out videos every Wednesday and I don't have anything else to say, but if you like this video, maybe you'll like another one. <laughs> that was a really good plug, self.